uh, welcome back to this next video and uh, this is the uh, part two on the uh, different types of the uh, biotechnologies and their application uh, in the uh, first part of this video uh, i've told you that what is biotechnology and i've told you that there are different uh, definitions of biotechnology that we discussed in the last video uh, then i've told you that uh, there are different uh, branches or different types of the biotechnology and one of the important uh, types of the uh, biotechnology is the bioinformatics that actually uh, is involved in uh, developing methods and uh, software tools to understand and effectively use biological data. Uh, then I've told you that the uh, bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary field uh, that aims to analyze and interpret biological information and you need the uh, out uh, the input from the uh, statistician, the biochemist, the uh, engineer, the biophysics and many more individuals. Uh, then we talked about the applications of the, uh, bio uh, the bioinformatics like they can be used in the sequence analysis. They are very really helpful in the production of the uh, protein structure. They are important in the uh, genome annotation and the uh, comparative genomics. And they are also important in the drug discovery and the uh, pharmacogenomics. Now in this particular video, I want to uh, focus on the other types of the biotechnology and one of the important biotechnology is known as the uh, agriculture biotechnology which is also known as the uh, green biotechnology. So the green and the agriculture biotechnology, they are actually one in the same thing. Now this agriculture biotechnology, also known as the uh, agri-tech, that is actually an area of the uh, agricultural sciences. Uh, that involve the use of scientific tools and techniques. Uh, for example, they are using the techniques of the genetic engineering, the uh, molecular markers, the molecular diagnostics, the vaccines and tissue cultures. And these techniques are used to modify the living organisms uh, so that uh, desirable characters can be introduced into these living organisms. For example, by using these techniques, you can modify the plants you can modify the animals as well as the microorganisms and when you talk about the agricultural biotechnology so you are uh, actually focusing on those microorganisms that are important with respect to the uh, plants or the agriculture site now one of the important subfield of the agriculture biotechnology is known as the crop biotechnology and in this crop biotechnology desired trees they are exported from a particular species of crop to an entirely different species thereby introducing good characters into this particular uh, new species now these transgenic plants in which you have inserted your desired characters uh, they can possess a desirable characteristics in terms of uh, flavor uh, color of the flower the growth rate size of the harvested products and a resistance to diseases and pests uh, the aim of the green biotechnology or the agriculture biotechnology is to uh, tackle the uh, food security issues um, the population of the world that is increasing and uh, you need strategies uh, to ensure that all of the uh, people on the uh, face of the earth they get the food so the aim of the biotechnology is to tackle this uh, food security issues so that all individuals are available with the uh, food uh, another important aim of the uh, green biotechnology is uh, to produce plant for fuels uh, because energy is uh, one of the important issues in the uh, current era and you can actually use these uh, plants for the fuels and agriculture biotechnology or the green biotechnology can actually help you in the uh, production of the uh, biofuels uh, another important thing is that the uh, green biotechnology is focusing to reduce the uh, environmental food uh, products of the industries because you can use the uh, techniques of the phytoremediation to uh, remove the hazardous products that are produced by these uh, industries. And the uh, talk, when you talk about the applications of the green biotechnology, uh, one of the important application is the uh, plant tissue culture now this plant tissue culture is actually a collection of techniques that is used to uh, maintain or grow the plant cells tissues or organs under sterile condition or a culture medium of a known composition which can later on be uh, grown in the uh, fields uh, which have the desired characters uh, another important application of the green biotechnology is the uh, plant molecular marker assisted breeding now this uh, molecular assisted breeding or the marker assisted breeding uh, that is actually the uh, application of molecular biotechnologies especially the marker the dna markers 
uh, in combination with the linkage map in genomics to alter and improve plants or animal traits on the basis of a genotypic assays. So once you have introduced the uh, desired genetic material into the uh, plant, so to confirm them, you can actually use these uh, molecular marker assisted breeding so that you can be sure that the plant you are growing in the field is having the uh, desired genetic composition. Uh, another important application is the uh, plant genetic engineering and this uh, engineering actually means the uh, modification or manipulation of the uh, crops and the uh, plant genetic engineering is actually uh, making the uh, crops that are very helpful in introducing crops uh, with variable traits to produce plants uh, that require fewer pesticides so you have to uh, they will be uh, making their own pesticides you have genetically modified them they will be requiring fewer pesticides a fewer fungicides or fertilizers and can be more resistant to stress conditions and if you are uh, making such plants which require less pesticides and fungicides that means you are helping to improve the uh, environmental conditions of that particular area uh, another important application is the uh, biofertilizers. Uh, now these uh, biofertilizers, they actually are substances uh, which contain uh, living microorganisms, uh, which when applied to seeds, plant surfaces or soil, they actually colonize the rhizosphere or the interior of the plant. And when they colonize the rhizosphere or the interior of the plant, they can actually promote the growth by increasing the supply or availability of primary nutrients to the uh, host plants. So in the future, uh, you may be uh, seeing something like this in the fields. Like you may be having the transgenic maize, the stress tolerant plants, the transgenic mustards and a lot of things uh, and plants which have been uh, genetically modified to produce the uh, desirable characters. Now, whether or not the green biotechnology products, uh, the uh, products that you are uh, genetically engineering them, they are ultimately more environment friendly uh, is a topic of considerable debate. Uh, that means uh, a lot of debate can, is there whether these uh, genetically modified plants, uh, they are uh, environment friendly or they are not environment friendly. Uh, it is a topic of considerable debate. Uh, another important type of the biotechnology is known as the uh, white biotechnology and this white biotechnology is also known as the uh, industrial biotechnology. Uh, now the uh, industrial biotechnology is actually the biotechnology applied to industrial processes uh, and it is actually a set of practices that use the living cells, whole of the living cells like the bacteria, yeast, algae or components of these cells like enzymes and uh, whether you can use the uh, whether you are using the whole living cells or components of the cells uh, they are meant to produce the uh, industrial products and the uh, industrial products they can be the biomass based materials such as the fuels and chemicals and these uh, organisms or their components they can be used in different processes like the uh, treatment of the wastewater and energy efficiency measures now uh, if i give you an example of the uh, industrial biotechnology the most established uh, application of industrial biotechnology uh, is in the food and beverages sectors uh, for example the microbes like the yeast or their enzymes that are used to produce beer and wines as well as uh, dairy, uh, dairy goods such as the uh, cheese uh, the applications of the uh, industrial biotechnology, they are very wide. They are used in a variety of the uh, industries. They can be used in the uh, agriculture industries. Uh, they can be used in the process of the uh, biorefining, the uh, biofuels, the uh, renewable chemicals that can also be important in the production of different kind of the enzymes, uh, the flavor and fragrances. And they can also be used in the different processes as I've told you in the treatment of the wastewater or they are also important in the production of the uh, bio-based polymers. Uh, another important type of the uh, biotechnology is known as the medical biotechnology or the uh, red biotechnology. Now the uh, medical biotechnology and that would be uh, the uh, main uh, topic or that will be the main course that we'll be discussing in the uh, series of these videos. The medical biotechnology is a type of the biotechnology that use living cells and cell materials to research and then produce pharmaceutical and diagnostic products. Now these products help treat and prevent diseases. So the main aim of the uh, medical biotechnology is in the uh, treatment and prevention of a different kind of the uh, diseases. 
Uh, now this particular chart is actually showing you the areas where uh, medical biotechnology can work. Uh, it is very important in the uh, DNA fingerprinting. It is very important in the gene profiling and especially the medical biotechnology is focusing on those genes uh, which are important with respect to the uh, diagnosis and with respect to the uh, uh, disease conditions. Uh, the uh, medical biotechnology is also important in the gene therapy. We will be having a detailed uh, discussion on the uh, gene therapy. Uh, the biopharmaceuticals like the uh, insulin, the uh, somatostatin, the interferons, how they are actually uh, working and how they are actually produced in the field of the uh, medical biotechnology, the development of the vaccines, the skin grafting, the pharmacogenomics. Uh, simply, uh, I want to see is that the medical biotechnology is uh, helping helping in the treatment and the uh, prevention of the uh, different kind of the uh, diseases. Uh, another important uh, type of the uh, biotechnology is known as the marine biotechnology or the blue biotechnology. Now the marine biotechnology uh, that actually uh, exploits the diversity found in the uh, marine environment in terms of the form, structure, physiology and chemistry of marine organisms. Uh, many of which have uh, a non equivalent in land in ways uh, which enable the new materials to be uh, realized. As these organisms are not present on the land, they are only present in the marine environment. So you can expect a lot of novel things from these uh, particular uh, living organisms in the uh, marine environment. And these marine organisms, they can have uh, industrial applications. They can be actually important in the production of the novel uh, bioactive compounds because they have not screened, because you have not screened them because they are not present on the land. They can be important in the uh, pollution indicator and waste management. Uh, they are very important in the development of the uh, biodegradable nanomaterials in the development of different uh, pharmaceuticals. Um, another important types of the uh, biotechnology is known as the yellow biotechnology or the insect biotechnology. Now this yellow biotechnology uh, uh, is actually refers to uh, the biotechnology uh, dealing with the insects. And uh, the yellow biotechnology is extremely important in the uh, identification of the active ingredient or genes found in these insects. Uh, which can be characterized and can be used for research and applications in agriculture, medicine and in many different ways. Uh, if I give you some of the examples uh, where the uh, different products are coming from these insects, like you can have different kind of the biopolymers, like the xanthane gum, the alginate, the agarose, a different kind of the enzymes can be isolated from these uh, uh, insects like the myelases, the glucose isomerases, the lipases, the proteases, different kind of the amino acids like the lysine, alanine, glutamic acid, the carboxylic acids and different kind of the carboxylic acids they can also be uh, extracted from these insects like the uh, citric acid, the lactic acids and the uh, acetic acids. So this was just uh, an overview of the uh, different types of the uh, biotechnology and uh, their applications. Uh, now sometimes you may be uh, thinking that these uh, biotechnologies they are actually overlapping with each other especially when you talk about the medical biotechnology and the industrial biotechnology uh, you may be seeing that they are actually overlapping with each other so uh, these uh, classification are only meant to give you a, a broader view or the uh, broader types of the uh, biotechnologies and they may sometime merge with each other so one thing can be under the uh, heading of the uh, medical biotechnology as well as the industrial biotechnology for example as well so if you like the video please uh, subscribe to my channel hit the like button and share it with uh, your friends